so we're on camera, okay? So, since I'm really, really bored from studying, so I'm gonna try to teach you how to play the guitar. And, okay, I know I'm still, I just woke up, so I look like crap right now. But anyway, this is a guitar. Actually, this is a classical guitar. You have those, like, you know the cool ones that people play on, uh, on TV and stuff? It's mostly the acoustic guitar, which has the steel strings. I used a classical guitar because, well, this is my first guitar. It has nylon strings, it's, it's a cheap guitar, and it doesn't hurt the finger so much. So anyway, talking about the guitar. Look, the guitar has a uh, fret. Fret is like every bar that it has like fret 1, fret 2, fret 3, fret 4, blah blah blah, and so on. And strings, it has 6 strings, the usual ones. Um, the thickest one is on top, it has a low sound. And the thinnest one is at the bottom, it has a high pitch sound, as you can hear. Mm -hmm. So what happens is, I'm going to tell you, the thinnest string is 1, designated as, designated as 1. And the thickest one is 6. So like one to six long. Okay, anyway. <laughs> of course we start with learning chords long. Okay. So the first chord I'm gonna teach you today is D. In music there is you know there is Do Re Mi Fa So La Ti Do, which also are equivalent to C D E F G A B C. So the first chord I'm gonna teach you actually I'm gonna teach you based on a song la it's easier to learn that way anyway. So the first thing I'm going to teach you is a D. Look at all the frets, huh? Well, yeah. camera angle. Okay, this is the first fret. This is the second fret, right? And there are six strings, right? Well, yeah. there are six strings. So the D, how to play a D? Fingering is also very important. <laughs> anyway, so you put your middle finger at the last string, the very last string of the second fret. And you put your index finger at the third last string. So you see what happens is there's a gap. The second string is not played. Okay? The second string is not, not pressed by these two fingers on at this fret number two. So what happens next is not a complete chord yet. You put your ring finger on the second string of the third fret. So I, I show you one time. Huh? Okay. Middle finger. On fret two, last string. Uh, index finger on fret two, third string. So it means you avoided the second string, and the second string will be played by the ring finger on the third fret. Okay, so now you have the D chord. Yes. Well, okay. Show you how it sounds like. It sounds so Christmassy, so jingly. Eh? Yeah, that's the power of a D chord. Okay, how to strum? How to strum? Strumming is easier. Okay, <laughs> okay it's easy for someone who has been strumming for so long. So anyway, uh, strumming. Let's go easy, okay? Let's go really easy. I mean, just to get you to get the chord first, like not go really fancy or crazy. So what I do? I don't know. I just, I just use, actually use the thumb and just do this. Okay, the thing about D chord, because there are six strings, like right? every string has a bass, you know. Has every string starts from a different bass string. So D starts from the fourth one. So that's here. From the bottom, uh, one, two, three, four. So just focus on the fourth one and strum from the fourth. Let me show you what happens if you don't strum from the fourth. Strum from the six, it sounds really horrible. Like uh, there's some extra low notes. So strum from the fourth string. Push down. So the easiest way is just to do low, low strokes first, uh, down strokes first. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Do the simple down strokes first. Don't know you do the up stroke. Like. So instead of doing that, just focus on low. First. One, two. Now that you've gotten the D chord, I hope that you did. So, uh, I'll teach you the A chord, okay? 
A is easy to press actually, it's all on the second fret. Second fret, okay, these three fingers, the same three fingers, goes on the second last, third last, and the uh, fourth last. So basically it's string two, string three, and string four. You avoid the first string at the bottom, start from the second one, the third one, and the fourth one. <laughs> okay. It's all on fret number 2. A is easy, okay? So you do the same thing again. You strum A, the bass, no, bass uh, string is 5th one. So you just use your thumb, go to the 5th one and just put it down. Okay. Sometimes if, you know, when you're, when you're first playing, you wonder why, how come like, I play also not as nice as other people, like those very proficient people playing? Normally it's, Pro I figure out like, normally it's a problem of the left hand. The person didn't press it hard enough, so when it's strum it comes out really weird. So see, it always sounds like that if you don't press hard enough. You don't press hard enough. Even a D chord, see ya. Yeah? You don't press hard enough. You must press hard enough and just do the strumming. So uh, actually, uh, the song that I'm gonna teach you today is the first song I learned as well. It's the happy birthday song, so that if anything goes wrong, you can, you know, you can at least still sing the happy birthday song to your girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever, yeah. So it goes, okay, the first part goes like this. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. So that's like the first few lines of happy birthday. So um, this song is in a time of four. Time of four means one bar got four count up, like one, two, three, four, and next bar, one, two, three, four. The importance of the bars are um, one bar with four counts, it's like the chord, la, chord progression. So, yeah. The D is played with one bar, four counts. So, yeah. one, Two, three, four, and then you jump to the A. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So in Happy Birthday, this song, um, you have one bar of D, two bars of A, and jump back to one bar of D. That's the first part of Happy Birthday. So it's like. Um, The part where beginners really worry about is chord changing. They're like, oh shit, oh shit, how am I supposed to jump to that in time? So, it's practice, yeah. Practice really makes perfect. So, you start with a D. You might have problems remembering it. It's the middle finger, last string of second fret. Index finger, third string of the second fret. And the second string is fret number three and using your ring finger. Just remember to press hard enough for a nice sound to come out when you strum. And uh, take your time, really. Take your time. Don't be disappointed if you can't, you know, change fast enough at the first go. It, because, you know, it's practice. Practice makes perfect. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Next part of the song, Happy Birthday, uh, has a chord. Yeah, it's a D seven chord. D seven is the opposite of E. I mean, in terms of finger position, D is like this, right? Remember? Now is uh, just flip it over. Actually, flip it over as in just now it was a triangle this way, right? It was a triangle like this. Now it's a triangle like this. Means these two string is still pressed, but of course to in order for this to get here, you must change the finger now. So instead of like that, you see ya. Yeah? You this 
maintain these two, but with different fingers. Now you take your middle finger, come up here to the third string of the second fret, and the ring finger on the last string of the second fret. So now, see, the second string is avoided again. Okay? So what do you do with your very free index finger now? First fret, second string. Now you form a triangle towards that way. Just now your triangle was like this, with different fingers. Now it's like that. Okay? So reminder, D7 chord. Okay. Ring finger on the last string of the second fret. Uh, middle finger on the third string of the second fret, and your very free index finger, second string of the first fret. So now hear how it sounds like. The bass string is the same, it's the fourth. So press from the fourth string and strum down with your thumb. Here it sounds like D but has a very alternative, very jingly feel because it's a seventh chord. That's the power of a seventh chord. Oh, the next chord after D7 would be a bit hard for beginners, which is a G chord. G chord is like this, <laughs> like that. G is a very full note. It plays the entire. It starts from the sixth string. I'll show you how to do a G chord. Oh, G chord, G chord, G chord. Index finger, second fret, fifth string. Fifth string. This one will. This is a very wide chord. And middle finger, third fret, last string. Okay, I show you again. Huh? Index finger, second fret, second string. Um, middle finger, third fret, last string. So, of course, it's incomplete, right? Sometimes you, well, you need three fingers to form a chord usually. Uh, so what you do is your ring finger <laughs> last string of the third fret so this chord right actually is two fingers are sharing the same fret and it's like two ends of the same fret two ends of the same fret which is the third fret and your index finger is actually on the second string of the second fret so one last time index finger second string of the second fret middle finger, last string of the third fret, and ring finger, last, uh, first string of the third fret. Okay, now, so I told you the bass string is the sixth, right? So, from the sixth one, just strum down. This is a G. If it doesn't sound nice, if it sounds like this, if it sounds like that, press harder. I suppose your hardest transition in this song would be the D7 and G. So it would be like... It's practice, huh? practice makes perfect. Okay, now since you know all the chords of the song, of the Happy Birthday song, I will show you how it goes. Okay. Happy birthday to you. 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 Okay, that's how the song goes. So now I'll just uh, summarize it, I'll tell you. It's one bar of D. One, two, three, four. Two bars of A. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One bar of D. Two, three, four. One bar of D7. One, two, three, four. And one bar of G. One, two, three, four. Okay, the last part, the happy birthday to you. That part. Okay, the next bar after G. It's a bit tricky for beginners also. It is a shared bar, you know. One bar has four counts, right? Yeah. So it's yeah, two two plus two, you know. Two is given to D and two is given to A. Instead of uh, 
instead of one whole bar of D or one whole bar of A, this one is a shared bar. So two counts are given to D, two counts are given to A. So uh, from G, uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, and one, two, and go back to D. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I'll show you again from D7, one bar of D7, four counts. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four of G. Then do that bar, that shared bar. So one, two of B, then jump to one, two of A, and then you end at D. One bar. One, two, three. Okay, and that gets you happy birthday. So I'm just gonna play the song one last time. Yeah. Show you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Okay, thank you. That concludes my tutorial session on how to play happy birthday and guitar playing for beginners okay i don't know how to start this <laughs>